Yo, what is up, everybody? As Crypto 101 coming at you guys with another video today. We're going to be talking about the secret sauce, the secret to success when it comes to drip and the drip garden. Also, it's going to be talking about the community right now and just my thoughts on that in general. Stop what you're doing right now. Make sure that you do hit the comment, like, and the notification button so that I know that you guys are supporting the channel. It helps support me to bring you guys more content. And the notification just lets you guys know as soon as I release a video, you don't want to miss out. Now, let's get straight into it, guys. We're going to be talking about drip today. Um, so obviously we have drip right now sitting at a price of $44, almost $45. So definitely on a little bit of a dip. But this really has been kind of what the price range has been in the past couple of weeks. Well, ever since the well sold about $200,000 worth of drip, we've been kind of in the same point. Um, so right at 50 or $45 right now. So I think that the best thing to do right now, if you are in drip in the faucet is to it's the C word. Can you guess which one it is? It's not claim is compound. Once again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to go buy new drip to deposit in here. I'm just telling you guys who have a long-term approach when it does come to drip. Because if you're already in drip, right now isn't really time to claim and cash out. We're at a low of $45. So at least let the price get back up to where it should be, which is I definitely think in the $100 range at least. And then that's the time that you claim always what i have been told and what i've learned as an investor in crypto is definitely dca and make sure that you're compounding through the dips that's one thing i wish i would have learned early on in drip as you guys can see i have quite a bit claim and that's all really from the first couple of months that i was in drip i really didn't understand the longevity of the project some of the things that were coming to it and i was just claiming and selling at twenty dollars thirty dollars at that point which i thought were all-time highs but obviously we're talking about 45 dollars being a bottom right now so obviously things have changed right so i like i said this isn't financial advice i do think it's important as a team leader and just as a person in the crypto community that we do practice you know honesty full transparency obviously i'm pretty heavy into drip right now almost at 1400 deposits um, I have about 39 drips sitting in my wallet on the side. So I've been in drips since the pre-sale. So my perspective is definitely going to be a little bit different from, you know, some of the other people on YouTube, some of the people that hate drip, some of the people that love drip, some of the smaller bags, some of the bigger bags. But I really do place myself kind of right there in the middle. Um, obviously, I love that drip's able to provide me passive income on a daily basis. But if drip was not here tomorrow, I would not be out of it, you know. If you guys do check out my channel, I do stuff on AVAX, I do stuff on RV1, I do stuff on Ethereum, Solana. So, you know, Drip is, you know, my main go to right now, but in no way is this the only thing I do, right? So, I think it's important that you do diversify your portfolio. That's super important that you're not all in on just one thing because you never know what can happen because it's crypto, right? So, just to give you guys full transparency with that, I think that you can be invested in a project, but also be critical of some of the things that are going wrong, which is some of the things I'm going to talk about today. But the secret to really building your way out of this stuff, guys, is to make sure that you're compounding more than you're claiming. Obviously, you want to build up your deposits as much as possible. You want to make sure that you are compounding on these dips because those times that you compound are definitely going to pay off. So what I did want to show you guys real quick, if you've not checked out DripFi, it's a really good calculator that really shows you the potential and the power of compounding. So obviously I could have kept claiming at this point and, you know, cashing it out, cashing out $616. Obviously that does not have the tax included in it, but we have to look at it long term, right? So I definitely think that we're going to see drip at least back at $100. So through compounding, I've been able to build my principal up to the point of where once it gets back to $100, it's right around the same amount that I was making when the price was at like $160, $170. And that's the power of compounding. I've been able to add so much drip to my bag just by hitting that compound button more than that claim button. And, you know, hindsight is 2020. I wish I would have thought about that earlier in the game, but I did it. You know, everybody makes mistakes, but you can always make improvements now. So even if we talk about drip being back at all time highs, 
I'll be making right around $2,700 a day, which is crazy. I did the math on it, looked it up on my phone, and it definitely really surprised me of what that actually is. So it's actually $985,000 a year, which is crazy. And obviously that's, you know, before all the taxes from the system and you actually claim to get into your bank account, obviously there's a little bit of a process with that. But that's really just showing you guys the power of compounding. And that's not and that's not even including, you know, how long it would take for me to get to that point. I think that, you know, ideally it's probably going to be at least I think three months before we'd see a two hundred dollar price tag again. But at that point, with me compounding every single day, I'll be making fifty one hundred dollars a day in drip. Now, obviously, like I said, my position is definitely a little bit different than other people's. I'm heavy in drip. Um, I do promote drip. I like drip. I mean, I, it's never done anything wrong to me. Um, I make sure that I tell my team that I'm always transparent with those things. But once again, I think it is important that you do have a balanced approach. I definitely think there's a lot of things that drip could do better. I definitely think that the animal farm, you know, wasn't the best thing in terms of drip. And we're also going to talk about that a little bit now. Right. So can't forget about the drip garden over here. So the drip garden is pretty much the same strategy. What did we do with the faucet compound? What are we going to do with the drip garden compound? And that's the same thing, guys. I understand that, you know, the the decay on this right now is greater than the actual rewards in terms of your daily percentage, which I think is right around 3.3 percent. But you have to look at it long term. How is it going to be if you were able to sit here and compound this thing out? Like once I compound it to 2000 and the price of drip does go back up. You know, that is going to be huge that you were able to sit there and compound these different platforms while it was low so that you could really build your bag up so that you could take advantage of when it's at highs. So as you guys see, the secret sauce, the secret to success is compounding. You cannot look away from that. That is super important. You got to have to you have to be able to utilize that in these platforms. A lot of platforms don't have that. You know, with these other cryptocurrencies, if you're yield farming and things like that, there's not and there's not really a compounding mechanism. You know, you're taking your yield, putting it back in, but it's different. Right. So, you know, if you're just holding Bitcoin or you're just holding Ethereum, things like that, you can't compound your way out of dips. And that's what the very special thing is about drip. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just compound to show you guys I do that. If you guys have been following me, you guys already know that I do this on a pretty consistent basis. But I come in here and I compound this every single day because my goal is to get to 2000 plants. So I'm going to keep compounding this thing. There's no reason for me not to. I don't want to claim and cash out, you know, a minuscule amount that's been deteriorating because of the price. There's no reason for me to do it now. Why not, you know, have delayed gratification? and then be able to really take advantage of that yield later on in the game right that's what that's got to be your strategy once again this isn't financial advice i'm not telling you guys to only compound i'm not telling you to claim every single day i'm not telling you to buy drip i'm not telling you to do anything i'm just showing you guys my strategy what's worked for me and what's been able to help me build my back so i think that there are a couple of things that we got to talk about when it comes to drip right so obviously the price of drip is down. I think that is for a couple different reasons. I think the main reason, and just to be blunt with it, it's the animal farm. It's the animal farm's fault, right? Because this is what happened. So we had drip community here, right? That was a passive income platform that anybody who was in drip community at that point was in drip. Then we have the animal farm that came out, right? Animal farm, that's yield farm, that's obviously the drip guard and things like that. So you have different mechanisms in place. So we put the two things together and now you have two different communities. You have yield farmers who I usually think have a quicker need for returns. And then you have a, pass, a passive income investor who's more so looking at it in the long term, right? So I think that we combine these two communities the expectations were way too high. I think Forex set them too high in general. And I think that we're undelivered on things that we felt like should have been over delivered on because that's just Forex's track record, right? He usually does that. I think that they were overworked. I think that they pushed, you know, dates way too fast. And I think that's really, really like caused there to be this pause in the community. Because just like the animal farm is right now, there's a pause on it. That's kind of how the community feels, right? Because I don't see a lot of buy pressure. There's more sell pressure than anything. And people are really just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. 
I think the piggy bank, I think that we should have just waited on that. I really wish that we would have held that back. Maybe put that out for another month because, you know, I just don't think that was the right time to do it. I think it was too rushed, but hey, that's, it is what it is. But I think that the main reason that drip is down as well is the fact that drip just doesn't have a lot of utility right now. So before the animal farm was paused, there was the possibility to have a drip USD LP pair to put into the farm and which you could use to grow your pig steaks, right? So that's gone because the farm is paused. And then also, I mean, outside of that, there's not really anything else we can do other than put it into the faucet. As you guys can see, I have 39 drip is sitting here. I can't really do anything with it. I could put it in the faucet, but that's not my goal to put it there. I'm already compounding what I have here and I really wanted to LP that up and put it in the farm, but can't do that. Then also, once the lottery comes out, which I don't know exactly when that is gonna be, but that is part of the piggy bank. And some of the utilization that we'll have from Drip is being able to use Drip and dog tokens to buy the lottery tickets for that piggy bank lottery. So that's gonna be big too. I think we're definitely gonna see some price appreciation once those things come back and once we get those new features. But right now it's pretty stagnant and we're at a standstill. I don't think Drip is really gonna go below 40. I know the last video I was doing, I said it wasn't gonna blow 50 and it went below 50. So who knows what it's gonna do. But at the end of the day, the biggest thing to look at is how much drip that you have deposited, not always the price. Because if you focus on the price, obviously price is important, right? Everybody wants to know what the price is going to be. But the more that you're able to compound and the more that you're able to have in your deposits, you are going to be able to look at it from a different perspective of, okay, I'm getting this much drip a day and you're compounding that so you're just building your bag even further and the price isn't going to have as much effect once the price does go back up you're going to be set because you compounded and you did what was right at that point and you compounded it out and you saw the benefits from doing that and that's all i really you know not recommending but that's the way i'm going to do it that's always worked out for me if there was one thing i wish i could have taught myself early on in the crypto space to avoid getting wrecked as much as i did would be to compound dca that's one thing i was really bad about but that's one thing i've learned now and i wish i would have but hey it is what it is but the secret sauce the secret to success when drip faucet and the drip garden is to compound 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 forget about the other c word that claim and forget about harvest don't do that right now now is not the time to do it once again this is not financial advice i just really want to see people be able to build these passive income platforms for themselves because there is nothing better than a steady form of passive income because passive income is the key to financial freedom now as i said i am in the faucet feel free if you guys do want to join my team you don't have to join my team i don't really you know feel like I need to promote my team, have a good community already. I appreciate everything that everybody has done on my team. And I show that appreciation by doing the different airdrops. We do weekly airdrops. We do, um, or we're doing a lottery airdrop for 20 drip on April 1st. And then on my Twitter as well, as crypto and Instagram as well as crypto 101. So it's actually as crypto 101 on both of those platforms. I do giveaways all the time. So definitely check me out on both of those. So also check out the telegram. We have a bag builder telegram. If you guys just want to join that, check out some of the content and stuff that we're talking about. Definitely a good place to go there as well. So I really just wanted to get on today, talk about the benefits of drip, I think. And, you know, just more so my perspective on it, just being honest. I definitely think that there's a lot of things that went wrong that could have been a lot better. I think we have better. I think we could have better communication. I think we have better deadlines. Just be better with things like that. Um, but there's a lot of things that are in the works, right? So we have the Drip UI that's coming. We have the chain link, chain link partnership that has been verified that's coming. But on the other hand, you know, I want to see more when it comes to the pancake swap partnership. I haven't heard much about that. Like, I want to hear more, you know, confirmation when it comes to those things, right? Let, let's start seeing some stuff with the Drip NFTs. And I know they're busy, but let's, let's don't talk about it if it's not, you know, at a state of which it could be presented, right? Because I think that really just as it makes people want to ask more questions, right? When is this coming? When is this coming? When is this coming? So if it's not ready, it's not going to be ready anytime soon. Really, I mean, don't hype it up. And I think that's really what kind of messed Drip up in the animal farm just in general. It got too hyped and we weren't able to deliver to that hype. And when I say we, I just say we as a community, because if you're invested in the animal farm or Drip community, we're all in this together, right? Because if it goes up to the moon, we're all there. But if it goes down to the bottom of the ocean and sinks, 
we're all there together, right? But make sure you guys just think about that before you do make decisions with this. You know, I don't think it's the best thing to come in here, claim out, cash yourself out. I don't think that's the best thing to do. At the end of the day, you have to make sure that you make your own financial decisions. And this is not financial advice. But make sure you guys do check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Crypto 101, where I post a lot of good content on there that's not related to Drip at all. I'm very heavy in AVAX. I'm very heavy in Solana, Ethereum, Harmony One, all those different platforms. Once again, make sure that you are diversifying your portfolio. Make sure that you guys also hit the comment, like, and the subscribe button so I know that you guys are supporting these videos. I'll keep supporting you, and we're all just going to take care of each other at the end of the day with this great community that we're going to build. So that was the secret sauce, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I gave you the secrets to success. Now it's all about what you're going to do with it. What are you going to do with it?